the interesting th- thing now is sort of what happens next. Well, the, you know, hundred, the 115 charges. Well, <laughs> well this yeah. is that, obviously. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's going to take a long, long time to, to, you know, come to a conclusion. We know that. Mm. It feels like for anyone else to win the league, you have to catch City in a downward turn. Mm. And they could probably win the league again next season without making a signing. If they kept this squad exactly as it is, they would still be the favourites. And it's just, do we have to wait for Pep Guardiola to leave? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Uh, yeah, and, probably. But, but that, that's, for, for you lot to catch up. That's kind of, Well, that, that is kind of the thing, isn't it? Like I think a lot of, after our Ramble reacts last week, uh, when they beat Real Madrid, and we were a bit like, Oh, robots! <laughs> Fucking yeah. robots! Because yeah. we, because we always expect like a decent match at this point in the Champions League. Mm. A lot of Man City fans got in touch saying it was quite, quite um, down. It was, it was quite acidic, I suppose, and quite, quite uh, vinegary from us. But to be honest, like you do, sort of go well. Like that, that's how the rest of the world, footballing world, will react to this yeah. because they're just so well resourced. They have got charges outstanding. They are backed by a, a, a despotic nation. Like, this isn't a... I'm, I'm, just enjoy the Man City podcast. Enjoy uh, your, your fellow Man City fans. So, enjoy... sorry, sorry. Are you telling people to stop listening Yes, to I am. I'm, I'm what... telling Man City fans. I'm just, they're just not going to have a good idea. They're not going to have a, a lot of fun watching uh, you know the football media because it's not that romantic a story. And Newcastle are in exactly the same situation. Yeah. They'll get their one. They'll win a cup or something, and people sort of go, "Oh well, you know, good for the fans and all that." But after that, it's all bets are off because you know, it's they are limitless. In well, their, that's, in that's United answers, might have their own shake at the end of the season. Well, I mean, maybe that, everybody will have a sort have of a shake. Yeah. Yeah. How many billionaires shake, yeah. are there in the world? Maybe everyone can have a, <laughs> have a shake, like a, an unlimited resort. A fair shake at it. <laughs> or dildos. I suppose yeah. most haven't done that well, have they? Yeah. Um, but I mean, but this is the thing when you talk about like how do you stop Man City? <laughs> I think we're gonna. Have... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at. Jim's face. <laughs> Still, don't that, fire your manager. I think there is going to be a situation though, like and, and you know I, I see it among like some Man City, uh, sorry, some Manchester United fans about like this takeover and who people want to take over and the people they want to take over are the people with the most money, the people who can challenge Man City, and those are very very specific type of people. Mm. And, and forgetting that Man United's wage bill is about the same as Man City's, and they've yeah, done fuck well, all. God, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but there's also that thing of. Um, you know, we are, we're going to ask the question about how do you stop Man City? How do you compete with Man City? And there will be a situation maybe in three years' time with Newcastle and their situation, Manchester United and say if this Qatar takeover happens and City with where they already are, that maybe in a few seasons' time there'll be editorials in the press. We ourselves will talk about it in here of, you know, three behemoths of the of the world game going toe-to-toe in our in our league and how watchable that will be that will be because it will be fucking watchable it'll be mm. incredible we'll be watching three super teams in our own you know in our own country in our own league this that and the other vying probably in europe for the champions league or the probably the offshoot of the european super league <laughs> um and we will you know we will just fold into the the general football chat don't we and 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 i suppose that is the worry and it's not necessarily something the man city fans have to worry about mm. but that is where the game is being taken to because mm. like i mean how how do you keep up yeah i do i do wonder though whether the, the point that jim made about pep guardiola leaving man city because it obviously will happen one day whether that may be the time that man city aren't the the powerhouse anymore because he is such a big part of why they're so successful in in my opinion i mean he's the manager that's won three successive league titles in three different countries now in mm. Spain, Germany, and he's so and unique England. as well. Yeah. He's yeah. such a unique character, coach, everyone that works with him, everyone that talks to him. I've interviewed him before. He's incredibly intense and you can just imagine what that must be like as players working under him. I wonder, it's fascinating, obviously we can't look into the future now, but I wonder what it will be like when, obviously they'll still keep the bulk of their phenomenal players there, but whether with a new manager that comes in, whether they can still make the team just as successful. Mm. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if they um, if they do as... Because bear in mind, Man City know how good they have it right now with Guardiola. Not just the players they have, but with Guardiola. So making him as, com- more, as comfortable as possible. Who knows? Like, he might even do what he did when he left Barcelona and take a sabbatical. Mm. Mm. Like because they can, they, maybe they can afford to do that. Just give him a year off, essentially. Like go, and, you know, go go back to New York and bully some kids at a, <laughs> a pickup game, you know. Or in a hundred years, he'll be winning another title there as a head in a jar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just yeah. do not know, do we? AI, yeah. <laughs> feed, AI feed yeah. all this nonsense into an AI. Oh God, imagine that. that. 
Uh, God, P-P-I. Johan Guardiola just tearing <laughs> out of his ears. <laughs> Cheers for watching another fantastic clip from the Football Ramble podcast. Make sure you click like on this video and subscribe to the channel, which means you will not miss a single upload.